<laughs> Hello guys, welcome to Highland Homestead. Today is another honey to-do list. And what we're doing here is trying to get our pasture uh, fully fenced in. When we bought the property, this little section right here was pulled out at some time. They had horses here, so most of the posts are done, but uh, we're gonna level the posts. We gotta add in this little section here, which we'll show you here in a minute. And uh, try to get uh, this pasture fencing done so we can do our rotational grazing and our black moo moo. We'll have plenty of area to roam and graze so we can raise them up this fall and uh, have some delicious steaks. So are you doing this or am I doing this? What do you are mean we doing both this? doing this? We're both doing this. Oh. You're here for support. Oh, okay. I'm just talking. You could talk too. <laughs> so, you know, do I, you know, use my muscle too? <laughs> you can use your muscle. All right. I tell you what, I got a perfect job for you. Okay. This nice little poop pile needs to be moved. That's a perfect job for mama. <laughs> As I have removed several poop piles already from the winter time. So let me show you what we got. So far, we got my line struck. This is we're coming square off the building. And I got the first pole already dug. Uh, we had a little oopsie. Not a really oopsie, but uh, we found, I think it was an old, uh, the old line when they had uh, the previous owners had a trailer here because if you see my orange marks on the ground um, they that's where the line is I traced it out with my tracer and that's where the lines at but yet we electrical. still hit electrical line there so um, so what we're gonna do is uh, get all this done there's Moo 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 Moo's having hi Moo Moo the goats are enjoying the sun. Everybody's enjoying the sun. Unfortunately, we got to get some of this little stuff done before we do the gardening. But uh, over there's the the post. It's not going that far. It's actually going where that post is laying on the ground. So what we got is a um, the starting point. We got a 12 foot gate, and then that's the corner post. And then we will run to that post there square it up and then of course make the corner post there and make another corner post down there so we got a bunch of digging to do right now we're doing an Amish style because of these wires I just want to make sure that uh, um, that we're safe so we're doing an Amish style we're doing it by the hand uh, which it doesn't bother me none I need to work out anyway after a long winter building up some of this winter fat build up my muscles but uh, that's what we got, and we're going to continue. Um, we got a next hole to dig, but I got to get this all level, get it ready. And like I said, our gate over here, so we're going to move this pile, get it out of here. Probably put it down to our food plot, which is right down there is our food plot. Might be hard to tell because the sun might be a little shiny in the camera, but so. That's our first step. We got to get the outer perimeter done. And then once we do the outer perimeter, we're going to do the inside perimeter. So, go, go, mama. Time to go to work. Yep. I need you to move that down there. All right. All right, guys. We'll be back with you. We'll let you uh, show you the progress. Yep. It's uh, pretty boring digging holes. So, we're not going to bore you with digging holes, but we'll show you the progress as we go. Yeah, I need you to get get me in line here. Now. Down a little bit. So what are you doing? Oh, measuring? Yeah. Okay. Hillbilly. Ingenuity. What do we 
we doing here? Let me see. Um, is this the corner? Corner. How are we looking okay. there? Good. Brace wire. So this is the top, okay. top of the brace wire. Okay. It's gonna go down this way because okay. you always point it in the arrow of the direction of the fence. Right. So it's gonna be down low here, up high here. Okay. Wrap it twice. Okay. Put on the strainer and tighten okay. it up. And then what that does is okay. it pulls this pole tight to there, which will keep the fence from sagging. Okay. So that wire is pulling down. The strongest part of that pole is down there. It's going to pull this top piece against this pole. So then when we also, when we wrap the fence, the tension will keep this all together. Okay. But because we got the fence going to be on this post, that wire is going to tighten up here, pulling this post this way to keep that fence braced. Gotcha. Uh, Okay, this is where we start our wrap with our fence. Okay, so it wants to pull it this way. Okay, because the tension it wants to pull. Now it's not going to pull too much because this, but a normal pull would pull this way. So with our strainer down here at the bottom, which is the strongest part of the pole, up to here, that pushes this pole this way, keeps that okay. up like this. So that way it stays square. It'll be more prominent when we go around this corner. Okay. You know, so the around the corner. Same thing, we'll go this way, and then on this side we'll go this way, and it pulls it in both directions so that that post stays level, okay. and then it pushes it against the other pole. Cool, Daddy. Thank you for explaining that. Baby, say your favorite save. And from our house to yours, toodles. There we go, toodles.